Hi, it's Steph. Thanks for clicking. This is my fifth update for Throwback 30. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab that was created by Jessica Lee. This project takes 30 other Fantastic Ladies projects of the present and past, and you are to choose items for each of those projects. You have a year from July 28th to July 28th to meet your goals on all 30 of them. As of my last update, I had 21 left. That's no longer the case. So let's talk about the ones that I have still remaining and the ones that I've managed to meet my goal on. First is 50 Shades of Pink. That is something pink, and I've been using this Bath & Body Works Sweet Summer Kiss Fine Fragrance Mist. I was up here when the project started. I'm now down here. My goal is to finish this. I don't think that's really going to happen, but I'm going to use as much of this as I can over the rest of the project. And so I'll keep going on 50 Shades of Pink. Next is 50 Shades of Yellow, which is something yellow or gold. And I've been using this L'Occitane Shower Oil. It's an almond-scented shower oil that lathers when you use it. It was just a little sample and I wouldn't purchase this like it was fine but it wasn't fantastic and it's frankly not worth the price that they have on this but I did meet my goal so 50 shades of yellow is a goal met. Beauty A to Z is a project in which you would pick a product for each letter of the alphabet to work on. I randomized the letter to represent it in this project and I picked the letter N and so for that I'm in my Lilo and Stitch Ohana palette and I picked the shade on the end here called Nani. It already had pan. My goal is to use this 15 times. I had nine uses at the last update. I used it one more time, so I'm now at 10. Five more uses to go to meet my goal on Nani. Budget Beauty is for using products that are drugstore or otherwise inexpensive. I've been using this Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Creme Brulee. My goal was to use this 50 times, and I have now done that. At the last update, I had 12 uses done, and I got my last three, so goal met for Budget Beauty. Child of the 80s is a prompt-based project themed around the 80s, and I got the randomized prompt yo-yos, and that's something you don't know how you feel about. I still don't know how I feel about this Nair face cream, despite the fact that I've used almost all of it. My goal is to finish it. At the last update, I was at that gold line. I did use it again, but I can't make a new mark, so I am still working on yo-yos for Child of the 80s. Day of the Dead is a project that is prompt based around the Day of the Dead, and there are dual prompts for this one. And the part A of the one that I got is purple, so something purple, and I've been working on this Eau Naturelle Creme Shadow in the shade Bliss. My goal is to finish it. At the last update, I had three uses. I used it three more times, so now I'm at six. And I'm going to keep working on finishing this because this is very old, and I do need to use this pr up pretty soon. Disney Princess was based on the Disney princesses. Each of the princesses had two colors associated with them. You were to pick something of one of those colors. The princess that I randomized was Aurora, and one of her colors is bubblegum pink. I picked this NCLA Sugar Sugar Lip Scrub. I don't know what flavor this is because the outer packaging is long gone and I just smell sugar. Uh, and here's what's left in here. I am still gradually working on this. My goal is to finish it off. Golden Girls is a project that is themed around the TV show of the same name. And I randomized the prompt Golden Girl, which is something golden. And so I've been working on this Ardencian Monster Manuka Honey Enriched Pigment in the shade Sunday. My goal is to use this 15 times. At the last update, I had used this 9 times. I'm now up to 11. So 4 more to go to meet my goal of 15. Happy Hour is a project themed around adult beverages. I got the prompt Bouncer, and that's a product that you're giving one less chance before you give it the boot. For me, it's this... Cleo Tinted Tattoo Kill Brow. It's a dual-ended brow product with a marker on one side and a gel on the other. My goal is to use this 30 times, and as of right now, I am up to 17. So I am working on this. I don't particularly like doing my brows, and this isn't particularly easy to use. So at 30 uses, I'm going to get rid of it whether it's dried up or not, and it might well dry up before then. It's Panning Cats and Dogs is a pet-themed project. I got the random prompt scratching post, and that's any nail product. So I pulled in this Nailtopia Orange Nail Treatment. It's supposed to strengthen your nails, and it seems to do that, but it isn't stopping my nails from flaking apart, which they've still been doing, and that's why I can't grow them. My goal is to use this 30 times. I had 16 at the last update, and now I'm up to 20. So 10 more uses to go to meet my goal of 30. Lip Service is a project that uses any type of lip product. And so I've been using this Acure Lip Blush in the shade Schmexy. 
My goal is to use it 30 times at the last update. I had 12 uses. I used it just one more time in the last month for 13. I am going to meet my goal of 30. I'm not that worried about it. And I will keep working on this one. Monochromatic Project Pan has a color assigned for each month. Most people just randomized a color for this one in Throwback 30, but I am going to go through all the colors with a small usage goal each month. The color for December was yellow, and I was using this Lime Crime Electric Slide eyeshadow stick in the shade Mega. It is yellow. My goal was to use this three times, and I did, so goal met on yellow. The color for January is purple. I recently got a Maniology nail stamping kit, and so you, it's one of those nail stamps where you can press a design on your nails. And the nail product that it came with is this duo. It's got a clear top coat, but the polish part of it is purple. So my goal is to use this three times. I don't know if their polish is really any different than anyone else's nail polish, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to use this three times and see how it does. Nightmare on Panning Street is themed around horror movies. The horror movie that I randomly got was Christine. That's something that you made a special trip to the store to buy. I made a special trip to the store to buy this Smashbox foundation. This is the 24 Hour Hydra foundation in the shade 1.1. Uh, you can see my marks there are all from this project. This fell on its side, but that mark is correct. And my goal is to finish this, which I think I am going to manage to do. So I'm going to keep working on this foundation. Paranormal Pantivity is themed around the paranormal and urban legends. And I've been working on the prompt doppelganger. That's something you have a double or backup of. I do have another one of these Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging CC Creams. It's a hair product that's meant to do basically everything. Heat protects, help you style, blah blah blah. And those marks are correct, so I have used this a little bit, and I am trying to finish this by the end of the project. That's Expensive is a project for working on expensive products, and I consider this Clarins Multi-Active Night Cream to be expensive. I think it's $65 right now, which is a little bit more than I prefer to spend, but it was nice and was because I did finally finish this, so I've met my goal on That's Expensive. Tiny Pans is a past Pan That Palette theme. I've been using this Coastal Scents Stylized Eyeshadow Sampler. There are two shadows in there, so I'm calling it a palette. My goal is to use this 30 times. At the last update, I had six uses. I used it one more time, so now I have seven, and so I'm just going to keep working and hopefully hit my goal for 30 on this eyeshadow palette. And the last one that we're going to talk about today is Women Who Rock and that's around women who are historically significant. I got Julia Child, and she's a food-themed item. So I picked this Jouer eyeshadow in the shade Chocolat, and that pan was already there. My goal was to use this 15 times, and I did that. So at the last update, I had nine uses. I am now at 15, so goal met for women who rock. So that was actually four goals met. So I met my goal on Fifty Shades of Yellow, Budget Beauty, That's Expensive, and women who rock. So I went from 21 down to 17 different projects in here. I did not talk about all of them. There are some products that I haven't used in the last month. There are even a couple that I haven't started yet, and I need to start doing that because we're, we're at about halfway through this project now. My goal for the next update is actually to have used everything in this project, which I have not yet done. Uh, so I hope your projects are going well. Good luck to you, and I'll see you next month. Bye. <laughs>